As we have already seen, evidence-based clinical practice is a series of steps used to apply the principles of evidence-based medicine to the patients you see every day. In our previous video, we covered how to ask a question in a regimented way that gives you a better shot at a successful search. So now, let's take a look at searching and focus especially on some of the resources you can use to find pertinent answers to your questions in a timely manner. I'm not going to go into depth into searching with mesh terms because an excellent video already exists for that on the PubMed website. However, I will show you why you should consider searching with mesh terms. Using a controlled vocabulary search, a mesh search will allow you to be more aware of the precise terminology being searched, see where the term lies in an organized hierarchy, and is more likely to give you a smaller set of articles to comb through than a standard keyword search. This search performed with mesh terms yields 47 results, whereas this search performed with keyword searching yields 103 results. While PubMed can certainly be pretty quick once you get used to it, there are some other resources that you may find useful on Shift as well. One of these is Dynamed. Think of Dynamed as up-to-date but with perhaps a more constrained and regimented formatting of the information. To find it, go to the library website and click on the link on the left-hand side. This will bring up the Dynamed page, and in it, simply search the disease process that you're interested in. The search results will give you a number of different options. We'll simply click on deep venous thrombosis. You can see we have on the left-hand side all of the information organized in a hierarchy. Interested in treatment, simply click on treatment. Interested in disposition, click on treatment setting. Interested in diagnosis, simply click on diagnosis. Another nice feature of Dynamed is that you can access the full text references pretty easily. Just click down on the references and then click on the full text link and you're taken to the PDF of the website containing the full text. Another resource to use on Shift would be TRIP Database. TRIP Database isn't a single separate database. It's actually a search engine that searches multiple different databases and returns results that focus on higher levels of evidence, systematic reviews, guidelines, randomized control trials, and the search results are organized and color-coded by a level of evidence. You'll see here with this search, done for deep venous thrombosis and thrombolysis, that currently these are ordered by quality. You could also separate the order to be by dates. If you're interested in looking only at guidelines, simply click on guidelines here on the side. If you were only interested in randomized control trials, you could click on control trials. In addition, you'll see along the top here, there's options for images relating to the search terms, as well as videos, patient information, and educational links. Also, if you register for a free account, you'll be able to access the full text references of the search results as it is linked with the UC Library system. Finally, let's go back to PubMed, but instead of searching up here in the search bar, we'll go to PubMed Clinical Queries. This section of PubMed searches for clinically relevant articles by excluding many of the basic science articles. Typing in deep venous thrombosis, thrombolysis, our results are returned in three categories, clinical study, systematic reviews, and medical genetics. In the clinical study category, we can define whether or not we're interested in studies focusing on the etiology of the disease process, the diagnosis of the disease process, therapy related to the disease process, prognosis, or clinical prediction guides. You can also define the scope of the search as being broad or narrow. A narrow scope will greatly cut down on the number of search results that you have. You can see with TRIP and PubMed clinical queries, your searches and the way in which the information is fed back to you is a bit less transparent than performing a formal mesh search. However, you can use them to get pretty good information very quickly. In addition, we've seen that using Dynamed for some of the basic clinical questions that might arise during a shift is a fast and easy way to get well-referenced information with the added advantage of being able to quickly access the full text references.